So I'm Simon Blow. And I'm Tom Blow. And our exhibition is uh, The Cities Where We're Going Next. So we've been working together since 2003. Obviously we're twins, so we've been kind of in some ways been working together for longer than that. But we started collaborating in 2003 and we've been making work that's for and about the public realm. So the starting point for this line of thinking, this kind of mix of the play and urban environment, was an exhibition we did in 2009 at uh, Eastside Projects Gallery in Birmingham. We made some sculptures that were kind of like maquettes for failed public art. We had 20 silver birch trees in the gallery space. In the 60s and 70s in Birmingham, there were a lot of housing states where they put concrete play sculptures in and happened to put silver birch trees. So that was kind of like a starting point for that show. That was the kind of nostalgic thing. That was the stuff that we grew up with. And then this feels like the more contemporary, stalled redevelopment project or that kind of thing that I guess the landscape feels like at the moment. The kind of thoughts on the idea of how people function in urban environments and, and how those, that's changed over the years and things but also how it all relates to times of, of recession. You know, we were born in the early 70s when there was a recession, and the kind of spaces and how we played, we had that sort of freedom to do it. It'd be interesting to see how, whether that sort of somehow changes when, in a kind of weird way, there's more potential open space because places aren't getting built on. Here we wanted to create something that was kind of like a maze, but then using these tarpaulins that I've been cut out to resemble these kind of uh, uh, faces, these ingratiating smile faces. And these are like graffiti, and particularly graffiti when it's kind of rubbed out or washed out. So they're called buffs. It's the idea of abstraction. So it's kind of pu almost like a pure form of abstraction, but also they're almost like bruises for a city. Well, bruises has a negative connotation, but also bruises can display some evidence of some, you know, activity that was fun. You know, whether it's falling off a, a bit of piece of playground it's equipment part of or process. it's part of a healing process. So there are all these other connotations about things like bruises and stuff like that that we often talk about with the work, but it's not necessarily something that is... Um, something that's always written down. It's just thing that these kind of other kind of narratives that, that exist when we're kind of making the work. There is this other kind of narrative that we've been thinking about where it's almost stuff that a group of feral kids have put together. Some kids have just gone and found this bit of waste ground. So these are almost like the faces of the children that are populating this space. Yeah. It's sort of taking those sort of structures of, of those spaces and kind of making something more sculptural from it. These stanchions, pretty ubiquitous roadside stanchions that we've painted. They look enough like a lot of kind of sort of mid 20th century and kind of later sort of sculptural artwork. We also figured for this show, it was kind of nice to give them a, a kind of function rather than just in sculptural objects. So we sort of came with this idea that you could kind of get sort of magnets and kind of use them as sort of uh, kind of like a magnet version of fuzzy felts, which we used to have when we were kids. There is quite a mix of material, so you've got canvas bought from a shop that sells canvases for artists, and then you've got the kind of materials that already exist in the, the built environment, and then there's things that replicate the built environment as well, so there is different kind of layers of material kind of thinking, really. So the title He's from an interview with M. Paul Friedberg, who's an um, American landscape architect who designed a lot of playgrounds, in, mainly kind of New York and other parts of the States. And he, he talks about the idea of that if we're going to preserve the kind of wider environment, we have to get used to the idea of living in cities. So cities have to be designed for people to be able to live in. So he talks about the idea of the cities, where we're going next. He talk, yeah, he actually talks about it being the salvation. He describes it yeah, as the salvation. salvation. And he says that density is the only way. He's laying out there as a fact. He's taking the notion of the city as a hostile place away from doing children's playgrounds and how children don't see the, maybe don't see the hostility in 
faces so much as grown-ups tend to. They grown-ups tend to see the risks and stuff, whereas children see opportunities for play. And I guess in a way that's what our thinking is for the show.